15 Tips to Manage Your Time Better. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. Thanks for choosing to spend some time with us today. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. You know what the only thing everybody in this world has in common? No matter how much money, fame, or luxury they have? Time. Yep, the same 24 hours in a day. And although this might not come as a surprise to you, it's worth remembering every once in a while that behind every success, there's a human being doing his or her best day after day. People are the wild card in life and business that can change the rules of the game at any point, and the thing that makes all the difference is how they choose to spend their time. For today's video, we wanted to share with you the 15 tips to manage your time better. Since most of our waking hours are spent working towards our goals and achievements, having a good understanding of this resource will allow you to master it and accomplish more in less time, and not only this, but it will improve other aspects of our lives as well. Before digging into this video, here's a quick disclaimer. Management of time really doesn't exist. What we mean by this is that time simply passes. You can't stop it, change it, or make it bend depending on your wishes. What you actually have to do when managing your time is to actually manage yourself and the way you approach everything you do. That being said, let's get to it. Here are 15 tips to manage your time better. Number one. Set goals and rewards. Setting your goals is crucial for planning your day. By setting your goals, you can create proper targets and you won't fall off schedule. Before deciding your objectives, you have to look deeply inside and ask yourself if you want to achieve those things. Knowing your ambitions can help you maximize your productivity, help you to see the bigger picture, and help you do as many things as possible in your 24 hours. Also, after every goal that you achieve, you can reward yourself. These rewards can go from sweets to food to short periods of time in which you do nothing, relax, or watch a short video. Number 2. Prioritize your tasks Sometimes you can't do everything or you don't have enough time to do it. That's why it's important to set your priorities right. An effective way to do this is to manage your priorities by dividing them into the following categories. Important and urgent. Tasks that need to be done right away. Important but not urgent. Tasks that appear important, you can decide when to do them, but not before the first category. Urgent but not important. Tasks that need to be done as soon as possible, but when completed, they don't have any lasting value. And not important and not urgent. These tasks are usually leisure activities, or things you don't really need to do, you only want to do. Doing this will give you a better view on your tasks and which ones need to be dealt with first. Number 3. Learn to delegate. So, your goal is to do more in less time, right? Because you can't expand time or get more hours in a day, you can achieve this by either getting more efficient in how you use your time you already have, and we'll cover this in detail later on, or delegate. Delegating means letting someone else take the lead on your responsibilities and trusting the outcome is the desired one. Depending on the type of responsibilities you're dealing with, you can delegate small tasks like hiring someone to schedule your time during the day, or pick up your suit from cleaning, or you can go even bigger and delegate work-related tasks. This requires a bit of a setup on your side and investing time in finding the right person you can trust, but long-term, it's worth it. Number 4. Start with small tweaks in your schedule. You don't need to change everything in your life at once in order to fit a specific time management scheme in there. And if you're just beginning to work on this matter, it's also not advisable since you most likely will give up easy. Something small like waking up 10 minutes earlier every morning and cut down 20 minutes of the social media mindless scrolling will give you a whole 30 minutes to read more of the things you're interested in or practice a skill you've been putting off for so long. Maybe it doesn't sound like that much, but 30 minutes per day means 2 hours and 10 minutes every week in which you're working on getting better. Number 5. Set clear deadlines. How much time do you have to finish your assignments? When do you need to complete your tasks? 
If you don't know these things, it might be hard for you to keep track of your time. It's easier to be on time and do everything when it should be done if you set clear deadlines for each and every chore. If you choose your time limit on each task, it will be easier for you to complete it and keep track of them and also on your time. You can mark your deadlines in your list of assignments, in your organizer or on your calendar. A calendar can be really useful and important if you're trying to manage your time better. Whether you use a classic paper one or an app, a calendar can help you know what you have to do and when. Number 6. Plan your meals ahead of time. Eating takes up a lot of your time and deciding what to eat even more time. Up to one hour a day can be shaved off by scheduling your meals in advance. If you like home-cooked food, allocate two to three hours every Sunday evening to cook or prepare meals in advance. Even writing them down helps. If you're into takeout, make sure to write down a list with the restaurants you're going to order from in advance and try choosing what to eat in advance as well. One trick to narrow down your options is by having food-themed days. Make Mondays for eating fish, for example, and Wednesdays for salads. Yes, this will take up some time at the beginning as well in order to set up a whole system, but it's worth it in the long run. And us A-Luxers are all about achieving those long-term goals, right? Number 7. Say no to multitasking. The multitasking concept refers to a person dealing with more than one task at the same time. Despite what you may think, multitasking is not that efficient and it doesn't save your time. On the contrary, multitasking will make you complete tasks in low quality and will actually slow you down. You also might miss out on some important details. When you multitask, your attention is divided between two or more tasks, which makes your brain switch fast between them instead of focusing on just one to complete it as fast and as well as you can. It takes you a few minutes to switch between assignments and start to concentrate again. Moreover, multitasking can take away your ability to think creatively because it takes up a lot of your temporary brain storage, so be careful when you do it. Number 8. Link your actions to your goals We'll go ahead and assume that if you're watching this video, it means you're trying to achieve higher goals in your life and cut down on the stuff dragging you behind. So one way to start managing your time better is to evaluate how what you're doing is related to what you're trying to achieve. This is easy to evaluate. Make two lists, one with the goals you're aiming for, be it money, love, luxury, whatever it is and another list with the things you're spending time doing. If the lists don't align, it means you're probably wasting time in the wrong direction, and this will probably give you a useful gauge on your efforts. Sometimes even people you spend your time with aren't of the best quality, so make sure you align the list with your goals with the list of the people you're spending time with as well. Number 9. Block out things that can distract you A lot of people have problems with distractions and procrastination. Those two concepts can keep you from doing your chores and waste your precious time. That's why you need to block out any and every distraction. Put your phone away, block out your social media notifications, or use an app that doesn't let you use your phone. Block the social media sites on your computer or use an extension for this. Create a workspace. Set up a place that is only meant for work and completing tasks, so your brain can associate that space with work and productivity. Distractions can easily drag you into a spiral of low productivity and frustration, so preventing this can make a huge difference. Number 10. Schedule your day ahead of time. Waking up in the morning without knowing what you have to do during the day can make you either forget important stuff or take on more responsibilities than you can manage. An easy way to do this is by planning your day and every week ahead of time. Allow half an hour to organize your next week's schedule at the end of each week and take five minutes at night to look at the next day's schedule. This will help you to become better organized. While you spend more time in preparation and planning, you'll save tenfold and not have to mend fences and fix bugs down the road. You know what goes well with time management? A good work ethic and some productivity tips. If you want a more in-depth overview on how to become better at what you do, make sure to check out our video 15 Tips to Improve Productivity by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Take Breaks and Unwind Before Sleep 
In order for you to be more productive and complete all your assignments, you have to take a few breaks. Those relaxing periods don't have to be long. 10 to 15 minutes is enough for your brain to decompress. In those minutes, you can surf the internet, watch some short videos, listen to music or talk with some friends. Many people go to bed with their worries running around in their heads and while it's useful to recap what you're going to do the next day on the night before, unwinding is the key to a better sleep. You can listen to some music, read something, or even meditate before hopping into bed. Try to avoid watching TV or reading from a device, since blue light can actually affect your sleep cycle and make it less restful. Number 12. Learn how to say no. This concept refers to saying no to a few things like distractions, procrastination, multitasking, but most importantly it refers to saying no to tasks that may appear suddenly and are not necessarily your job. Don't take on any new assignments if you're not sure that you can handle them or that if you don't have enough time to finish the ones that you already have and new ones too. Just learn to say a firm no, or at least delay those projects for a later period, but pay attention to your timeline and the list of tasks you already have, because you may not have enough time for new assignments in the close future either. Number 13. Don't get lost in the details. The image in your head might not be the image you wanted to have after the task is completed. It's important to not get lost in the details, trying to make everything perfect. Being a perfectionist is good in some situations when you have a lot of time to complete a task, and not so good if you're pressed for time. A crucial thing for completing assignments and not wasting any time is to see the quality in every task you complete, even if it's not as you imagined it. Trying to make everything perfect can create frustrations and sadness that might drag you backwards, make you waste time or reduce your productivity and creativity altogether. Number 14. Try not to be overwhelmed. When you work and are trying to do everything in a specific time frame, it's important to stay focused on one task and only one task. If you're constantly thinking of everything you have to do or that long list of chores that you assembled, you will be absorbed by an overwhelming feeling. That feeling comes with some side effects like low productivity, low concentration, frustration, and a waste of time. So, as we're saying before, try to focus on one task at a time in order for you to feel good and on track with your time. Number 15. Keep your inspiration and motivation. After a few days or weeks of continuous work, you may feel down or blue, and that's normal, but it slows you down and makes you sad. In this case, you need to talk with someone that you find inspirational or with someone that you admire. It can be a colleague, your friend, even your boss. The main focus here is for you to regain your inspiration and motivation. You can also hang motivational pictures and paintings in your workspace that can help to inspire you as well. Another thing that might help is watching videos with motivational talks or reading some books on the topic. Inspiration and motivation are directly related to your productivity, so it's important to have them. We hope we could help to shine some light on the time management issue for you. And don't forget, Alexers, time management does get better with time. If you have some other tips and tricks that you use, let us know what they are in the comments. And before we go, we're curious to know, Alexers, what's the most difficult thing you struggle with when trying to better manage your time? As a reward for sticking with us all the way to the end, you know you earned this last little bonus fact. Number 16. Don't forget to have fun. Don't try to check off everything on your list of assignments and forget to have fun and unwind every once in a while. Try and enjoy every task that you're completing and enjoy a healthy work-life balance. Rushing through tasks may reduce their quality and will surely leave you tired at the end of the day. Find something that you like about each and every chore you have to do and focus mainly on that thing. See the beauty in everything and appreciate it. It's crucial to feel good while you work because if you're happy, you'll be more productive, you'll relax better in your free time, and you'll be a more positive person. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.